We're ready to rock and roll. Ooh. Did I just miss that when I was pulling in the deer dealership or what? Ho, ho, ho. I think this is a deer 336. It's an older tractor. It's probably used. This would be absolutely perfect for the wife. Oh my god. Gosh, it's got a snowblower. It's got a tiller in the back. It's got a little trailer and I saw a little four row planter over there Don't do it. 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 Hey, Brad I'll take it doing it Well, we may have just picked up a new garden tractor and the wife's either gonna be really happy I, I think it'll be a mixture because she's actually getting something for the first time that she can use which she should be excited about. But if you guys remember last episode on the farm, I bought this 1994 F-350 Dually. It was two-tone. It didn't even have over 100,000 miles. And so we picked it up on the farm. The Chevy's not dead. We just, I can't drive two trucks at once. But also, if you guys are ever interested in getting a PC to play farming similar, Apex Game PCs, you can go check them out. I have a link down below. And basically what I've done is I've built a beginner PC and just like middle of the pack PC, the discount code is built in on the squad PCs. On any of the other Apex game PCs, if you want to get one, you can still use the code squad for 10% off on any other Apex game PC. Oh, there's a copper up there. Stay cool, stay cool. Wave to the officer. So the plan is to drop this truck off in the back and then go back and pick up that garden tractor. And I was supposed to spread lime today, but now that we got that garden tractor, I kind of want to till up the backyard and start planting sweet corn. I know Austin had one like it, but I don't know if he sold it or what he did with that thing. We'll pull around here. In case you guys haven't seen the last episode, we've been really building out the shop and we're still kind of on an equipment buying spree. This 2000 series is kind of going big and it's the year we go big and really expand the farm and start running out a lot more ground. As you guys can see, got the case magnum, which we're also in the process of spreading lime. So we got the lime spreader hooked up. We got the 4955 back there. Uh, we got the big Steiger, the 50th anniversary edition. And we got the 8530 back here, the 7930 we bought, and the 4440. So, let's get this old girl unloaded. And there we go. So I think this is where I'm going to store most of the trucks and the stuff we use daily. So for example, the K30 is going to go in here. Everything's backed in. That means we got to back this in. And good. Shut that garage door. Is it just me or is this one of the most beautiful farm trucks? Now, not just because it's Ford, because you can make a Dodge, Chevy, Prius. You can make them look like good farm trucks, but it's the things that are added on to it. First of all, the Dooley, of course, looks nice. I love the bed rails. It seems like it seems like a lot of farmers I see have bed rails. It's a two-tone, the black two-tone, which I absolutely love the color scheme on this. It's just a good-looking truck. Let's roll. Ciao, bird. In case you guys are wondering, Chandler Buck was the one that made this, uh, this mod. I can't tell you guys if it's private or not. I'm not sure. So the question I'm trying to figure out is every, am I gonna be able to fit everything on this trailer? I think we'll be fine. Okay, we'll swing around the lot and then I wanna get the truck situated that I can just pull out instead of having to turn out the lot the next time. Let me unfold the ramps. There we go. I obviously bought all this. We bought the little lawn trailer, trailer the snow blower, but I also see this little four row planter. It's an old model number 494. I didn't even know the model number until I bought it. But I figured this would be a perfect sweet corn planter. So I bought it. Now I think we should be fine fitting everything on. The plan is to grab the snowblower, put the snowblower on, and you know what? We really should buy a loader. I gotta check with them to see if they have a loader. Because it has loader attachments on here. Now we can always take the duels off if we need to, and we're just mowing the lawn. There we go. I wanna put the tiller towards the back. Keep going. We'll drop that down. Okay, so I got the tiller detached. Now we could probably just leave the snowblower on. That'd probably work, so we'll just leave the snowblower on. Go off the trailer, and then I wanna hook up to the little cart and put the cart on the back. One thing we still have to do is get a combine yet, but we got time. It's early spring. We, we don't even have our corn in the ground. This teeny tiny little trailer is gonna be tough backing up. Come on, come on. Okay, we got it on there. Now the last thing is we gotta go pick up that planter. You guys think this will work? It technically doesn't take any hydraulics or anything like that. I think it'll work fine. Okay, the question is, is this planter going to fit on this trailer? I hope it will. Oh, come on. There we go. So I need to get it to where these duels, because I'll fall through here. I need to get these duels on the ramps, actually. Come on. Gosh, darn it. Should have taken it off the snowblower. There we go. There we go. And now for the planter. 
Keep going. How far do I have? Ah, I can keep going. Okay, this should work. Pull up. Keep going. And close the ramp. There we go. I forgot straps because I just bought this pickup truck. So I totally forgot straps. Johnson Bros is out of straps. So we just gotta take it slow on the way home. Oh, is everything hidden in there? Yep. Well, we made it. Nothing came off. Hey, what? Most trucks I drive, I listen to the radio. But this truck with a 7.3 power stroke, you just gotta turn the radio off. It's music. There we go. Parker. And put the ramp down. There we go. Hopefully, we can do this without dumping the planter. There we go. Ah, but the tractor. Okay, this is gonna get a little tight. Now, I definitely could be using the ripper or chisel plow or some big tractor in there, but I kind of want to just do this all with the with the little deer. There we go. Now, instead of using the tractor and taking that off and stuff and driving up on the trailer, I think what I'm going to do is just get little Johnny over here, get pallet forks on him, and just lift it all off. Can we make the fit? Can we squeeze through here? Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Fit. This is going to put my skills to the test. I don't think... I haven't ran the skid steer much. So we're going to see if we can't grab this off of here. There we go. There we go. We got it. Wrong way. Back her off and... Check this out. What I think I can do is just back up and hook to it. There we go. Perfect. So I'm not really sure where to put this. I think it'd be kind of cool since we're not storing anything in the barn. Is just to put... Uh, the garden tractor and all the implements in the barn here. There we go. Back her up. She's unhooked. And away we go. Or, you know what? I guess I could put the garden tractor in the garage. We really don't use that garage as much. I could do that. Next piece is going to be that snowblower and that tiller. I don't think I could get both. At Actually, you know what? Maybe I could. Let's see if we can't do this. We're going to go for both of them at the same time. The pallet forks are long enough. It's going to be a little sketchy getting on and off this trailer, though. There we go. Come on. I really don't want to ruin this trailer. Okay, back her up. We got the snowblower on here. I don't know if it's going to stay on here for long, though. We got to get to the shed. The barn. Here we go. Pull her in here. Oh, shoot. We're all over the place. There we go. And then we can drop her down. Oh. I'm going to see if I can't just slide this tiller onto the forks. And there we go. Hey, why not just put little Johnny up here, too? Okay, we'll put little Johnny up here. The reason I put that tiller back there is because we're going to use that quick. I'm going to unhook for the planter. We're going to use that, tilt the grass, and then plant it. But first, let's put uh, let's put the truck and trailer away. I'm not sure when the next time we're going to use this trailer, so for now, I'm going to see if I can't just back it into the shed. I'm, I'm assuming we'll probably use it soon again. Tall seed or whatever we need to move. Keep going. And there we go. Perfect. So I got the planter disconnected. Then we're going to hook up to the tiller. We'll back her up and then get the PTO hooked up. And we're just going to till probably an eighth of an acre, if that. Okay, well, let's see what this bad boy can do. By the way, we need a name for this. Now, I got Little Johnny as a skid steer. His name's Little Johnny, so we can't do that. But if you guys got another name for the garden tractor, let me know. How about Big John? Okay, PTO's running. Drop her down. We're tilling. <laughs> I'm getting dirt splattered all over me. There we go. Oh, gosh. I think it just tilled up a beer can. Okay, there we go. I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to outline this as best as I can. It's not even an eighth of an acre. I don't know what I was thinking. Probably one twentieth of an acre is what this would be. So I'm going to go over here, and we'll cut that way. We'll end right at the planter. I think I started a little too far here. I want to leave a nice grass strip, so we're not going to go that far. But then I'll make the turn. There we go. I'll tell you what would be cool is to get like a one or two bottom plow to pull behind this garden tractor. That's what I should have done. But hey, a tiller's cool too. Okay, last strip. And then we should be good. I've done pretty much two passes over everything. I've been overlapping. So on our way back, we'll do a pass over this. We're ready to plant. She's doing good. She's doing good. Okay, we're done. Now something I forgot about was getting seed. I gotta figure out, I think we have a couple old bad bags left in the shed. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to run down to the co-op, see if they got a couple of bags. I tell you what, Big John's a beast climbing hills. I love it with all the duels. And mowing side hills will be awesome. Just put the tiller right here. And there we go. We got her filled with sweet corn. And now it's time to plant. I may have got too much, but hey, we'll suck it out later. I think I can do this, but got the marker down. Okay, we're planting. Now this time I planned 
there's no sweet corn farm sim guys but this time i planned wet corn so hopefully this actually turns harvest yellow because that's why everybody said last time when i planted regular corn i planted regular corn and it never turned that harvest yellow and it was annoying harvesting green corn so everybody said plant wet corn so this should do make the turn okay we can't turn tight enough so what i gotta do is back up i think it'll take Five passes total. I think we can do it in five passes. So four times five, that'd be 20 rows of corn. Okay, so that's planted as corn. Now, one thing is we cannot keep this dirty. I gotta wash up this planter and wash, wash up this tractor. Because there's no way I'm putting this away dirty. But yeah, it's good to go. We'll probably come back and hit it with some nitrogen in between the rows or something to get it going a little more. Wash her off. Especially the planter. And there we go. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button, and hey, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.